is Alex. I'm doing a temperature test, another one, um, on a warmer day this time. Uh, but the, both of these, all these different infrared mats have been running for about 30 minutes. Uh, actually, we're probably closer to 40 minutes at this point on their max settings. So I maxed out all the controllers and we can now kind of do a quick test uh, to see, see how they do. Uh, this is a Therastage here. And we are looking at uh, 116 degrees right here. Now, the stones are, the gems are what emit infrared. Um, so let's see what the actual stone is. The stone is around 99 degrees, okay? Um, oh, now, what about in between? In between, we have 116. And I just would like to point something out, that beneath these gems or stones, there is no infrared emitting layers, okay? So it's more like an electrical heating pad, meaning I'm not surprised that the temperature is much hotter in between the jade, okay? So the question is, is that major increase in temperature is mostly due to the wires underneath. We now jump back to the gemstones, 103... 103, 103, but again, big increase in temperature in between the actual gemstones, okay? Now over here you, in the Vitamat, you will see some gemstones again, um, but there's, uh, there's several layers of infrared emitting material. Um, there's actually more layers of infrared emitting material than the other brands per se, uh, but each brand kind of has its own unique design. Some have advantages, some have disadvantages. Either way, in between, uh, if we measure the temperature, we're going to see like 98 degrees on the actual stones in the 89, 103 in between. Now those temperatures in between here, in between the gemstones, there's actual infrared emitting layers. So when I take that temperature in between the stones, we know that uh, that, that temperature is, is coming from mainly infrared, okay? So there's, there's a big difference there. While they may look similar in their design on the surface, Vitamin Therosage, there's a big difference with this map as far as all the different infrared layers coming in between it. And I would point out that uh, by the way, one of the layers in here is a ceramic type of material, uh, paramagnetic ceramic. There's a lot of infrared studies, a lot, on uh, ceramic types of materials, by the way. Um, only pad that has ceramic in it. This is the quantum pad, uh, and this normally is supposed to majorly reduce temperature. At the max setting of this Biomat Professional, the surface temperature with the quantum pad on top is 87 degrees. So that, that actually drastically cools it down, even at the hottest temperature. Let's see how hot it is underneath the pad. 152 degrees. So you can actually see how amazing this pad is to actually reduce the temperature. This thing is just an inch thick, okay? But it's a special type of webbing in here and material. That's a pretty big temperature drop. And I'm sure some of these spots are maybe even a little bit hotter. Uh, but either way, 152, 158, if you want to get that max temperature uh, on the actual surface pad, you got to keep the quantum pad on top. So again, this is around like 87, 90 degrees. If you reduce the control panel to a lower setting, you're going to, of course, get even a lower surface temperature, maybe in like the 60s and 70s, certainly comfortable enough to sleep on. Um, and that's one advantage of getting a quantum pad. Uh, if you don't want to get too overwhelmed by the heat of the surface of this, but you still want to get a lot of infrared, you have, but you really have to kind of reduce the surface temperature, the infrared will still pass through the quantum path, okay? Uh, and a lot of people ask that question. Um, but again, uh, the other thing here is that by putting anything over an infrared mat, any sort of material over it, it could be a towel, it could be whatever, it'll actually help warm up the surface of it more and more quickly because the infrared is radiating into this and then reabsorbing that heat. It's not traveling out as much. So it's a faster way to warm up a pad is put some sort of material on top. 
Uh, this pad right here, by the way, is from a Biomat Mini. And this is to protect the pad, make it a little bit softer, um, but a lot of it is to actually help warm this up a lot faster, okay, the warm up time. Um, and to make it a little bit more comfortable, again, if you have it on a hotter setting, uh, to have it versus right up against your skin, okay. Um, but that was just a quick differential in temperature. You can tell a lot, again, these were all in the max setting. Um, and if you have any more questions about this or different types of tests you want me to run uh, that would be helpful to you, just send me a message or a response form or give me a call. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Chris with Healing Arts Garden, and today we're going to do an EMF comparison test between the Richway Biomat on the left and the Charmed FIR mat on the right, um, which is also called a Charmed Biomat. Oh. So, all right, um, let's get started. Um, with, this is a Trifield meter. You can get these on Amazon for about $120. Um, some general background information. Um, the unit of measurement is a milligauss, and um, a normal background radiation is about three milligauss, um, or it depends where you are. Um, but most of the rooms in my house are about three milligauss. Um, this room, for some reason, is very low. It's about less than one. It's almost zero milligauss, so that's why I picked this room. Um, the other thing that's good to know is that this scale is a logarithmic scale. So more than half of it just goes from 0 to 10 milligauss. That takes up more than half. And then 10 to 100 takes up um, a lot of the rest of it. Um, but it does go past 100. So if it buries the needle all the way out here, that's a very high reading. That is a probably 500 plus milligauss um, just because it is a logarithmic scale. Um, so since this is a product that we'll be using uh, right next to our bodies for long periods of time, um, it matters, the EMFs matter more than um, a lamp or a microwave or something like that. So, all right, um, let's get started. Um, how these mats work is they warm up, they have a lot of crystals on the surface of them, that's the majority of the weight of them is crystals, and they warm the crystals up to the desired temperature. So, if it's on a low setting, um, the way to get a fair test is then to turn it up to a high setting, because if it's on a low setting, it may not be doing anything currently um, to warm the crystals. So, all right, so we're gonna turn this to the magnetic uh, field range. We'll test the electric field next. All right, so you can see the biomat, the Richway biomat is close to background on these parts at least. It's one and a half milligauss, and this is holding the meter directly on the pad. I want to basically just search around for any hot spots. Sometimes these mats will have a hot spot around the connector. So let's see there. Uh, about 25 I can get. 25 milligauss. Um, the other um, important thing to test is how far away do you have to be from this point source before it drops back down to ground to background levels. Uh, you want to be about an inch and a half away. Now it's back down to about three milligauss. So uh, maybe two, two inch and a half, two inches um, before it hits background levels. Okay, so one little hot spot there. Um, ideally be a couple inches away from that spot. Um, but the rest of your body is good. Okay, now for the charmed mat. Let's turn it up like we did with the bio mat. All right. And there we are. Um, it buries the needle all the way down. So that's um, a very high reading. That's 500 at least um, across the whole surface here. Um, here's 100 in this area. But very high, even, even for any electronic. Okay, now how far away would we need to be? Um, let's raise it up to go back to background level. 
we would want to be, it looks like about 18 inches away from the mat. Um, all right. We notice if we turn temperature down, then totally fine. Background levels. We turn the temperature back up, and there we are, back up 100 plus. So that's just the, whenever the mat is actually actively heating the crystals, that's when it does that. All right, now let's do the electric field. Go back to the Richway Biomat. All right. Again. Getting readings about one milligauss. And then some here, we're up to about 10. And again, it's like before you want to be about an inch or two inches away to get back to background level on the electric fields. All right. Now the charmed mat. Uh, buries a needle again, 500 plus. that test. Um, none of these products have radio waves or microwaves. Um, we can run the meter up just to demonstrate, but that's it's called a tri-field meter, so those are the three fields that it measures. Um, all right, um, so again we'll go back to the magnetic. Turn it all the way down. Still no reading. Then we'll turn it up. No change. Except for there. Pull it back a little bit. All right. Um, well, that concludes the EMF test. Um, we've, we're going to do some tests with some other brands of infrared pad too, but what we're learning is that it's a lot easier to advertise EMF protection than it is to manufacture products that have it. Uh, see you next time.